Inequality conjecture says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side, right? Greater than, I don't know why that's highlighted, like, oh, it's not. I'm here. So the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. So you just kind of draw a picture. I think I and then they have, uh, you might have learned this before, right? No, I didn't think she did. Okay. So uh, so they'll give you questions like this. Can they'll say can can um, two two and four be sides of a triangle? Yes or no? No, because two plus two is equal to four, right? It would have to be bigger. What about uh, Three, three, three. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of triangle would that be? Big yeah. ladder, yeah. right? And three plus three is bigger than two. So you have to check all three combinations. You can do. How about? Uh, three, four, five. How about three, four, five? Yes. Sir. How about five, two, three? Uh, no. Why not? Two plus three would not is reach it, this. Any two added together have to be bigger than the other. Well, five so plus two, two plus three. Yeah, but three. Five plus two. Five. Is it the biggest ones have to be bigger? 
the two so any, any two added together have to be bigger than the other. Okay? So, yes, sir. Yeah, but two plus two is four. Yeah, but two plus two is six. It's the same thing. Wait, we got this. I don't know. Yeah, but two plus two is four. 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 Two plus two is five. Okay. You get it. Okay, so that's the triangle inequality. Then we have another thing that says, maybe I'll do this on Sketchpad, just to be kind of innovative here. Uh, geometer, Sketchpad, 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 Sketchpad. Where is it? Thank you. Okay, so the next, the next conjecture I'm going to talk about is, uh, I don't need this one. I need to move this. Okay. Please, guys. I know it's Friday. It's it's, well, it's really Friday. It's really so. It's kind of like Friday. So let's do this. We'll kind of discover this together. Okay. And we'll put some labels on it. A, B, C. And I'm going to go to. Uh, make this dynamic. This, 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 measure length. Okay? And uh, then I'm going to measure off the angle. <coughs> Computer, please. Thank you. All right. So, uh, so what I'm going to do? BA is opposite side. BA is opposite angle C, right? So I'm going to put this over here. Uh, I wonder if I could. Can I move this whole triangle? I think I could just grab it and move the whole thing. This. Let me just try to move that triangle. Won't well, let me grab this. Will let me move the whole thing? Kind of. So now I move that stuff too. That's okay. So <coughs> side BA, so side BA is opposite angle BCA. Okay? And side BC is BC is opposite angle with the A in the middle. C A B. Okay? So this one goes with this one. And side AC is opposite the angle with the B in the middle. Okay? Who wants to make a conjecture about the relationship between the angles and the sides? That's the next conjecture. Okay? Look at these angles and look at the sides. So let me drag this oh, a little bit. Okay? Drag it like this. Drag it. You could stretch it any way you want. Okay? Who wants to make some kind of conjecture? about the relationship between the side and the angle opposite the side. Go ahead there, Brecken. Well, yeah, these will always add up to 180, but no, it's not about adding up. It's about their relative lengths and the relative size of the angle. Well, the length of the side of the angle is like 8.32 is and, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No. no, that's not true, right? That's not true anymore. Okay, let's look here. Look over here. Where is the biggest side? Uh, AC. AC, right? <coughs> this is the biggest side. Where is the biggest angle? ABC. Right here, right? Okay. 
Where is the smallest side? BA. Where is BA? Where is the smallest angle? This one right over here. Okay. So who can kind of put that observation into words as a conjecture? Yeah. Right. The biggest side, so that's your next conjecture. The biggest side goes with the biggest angle, and the smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. So if I make this one the smallest angle, angle A, right? Angle A, which is this one, is it opposite the smallest side? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Right? If I make this one the smallest angle, let's make it the smallest angle. Angle B, is it now the smallest angle? I make T the smallest and oh, I, I have to go over here. No. No. I have to move C. I have to move C? Yeah. Okay. Now it's T wait, now I'd have to squish this one in. Right? Here it is. Here it is. Is B the smallest angle? Yeah. Is the side opposite B the smallest side? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's what your next conjecture says. It says, okay. The side angle inequality conjecture says that in a triangle, if one side is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the longer side is longer is, wait. That's very confusing. It says longer. It should say longest. If one side, yeah. I would just write it like this. If one, the side opposite the angle opposite the longest side is the biggest. Wait, no. Yeah. The angle opposite the longest side is the biggest, and the angle opposite the shortest side is the smallest. And the angle opposite the middlest side is the middlest, right? Or something like that. So that's kind of what that says. So they'll give you. So the side opposite the biggest, the angle opposite the biggest side is the biggest, and the angle opposite the smallest side is the smallest. So you'll see a problem that looks kind of like, we'll just make it look, I'll draw a triangle to the best of my abilities, okay? A new piece of paper, okay, here's a triangle. Okay. And uh, then I'll call this 10, I'll call this 12, and I'll call this 8, okay? And they'll say, they'll say, label the angles from biggest to smallest. So we go A, B, or A, C, B. Please don't shout, okay? I'm trying to which, which is the, so if they say from biggest to smallest, how would I go? A go ahead, Devin. A, C, B. Biggest to smallest. Devin. B, C, A. Oh, angle B. Oh, angle. You guys see what you're saying. Angle. Well, just, you could name these angles just by one letter. So what's the biggest angle? Angle B. And what? What's next biggest? C. Good. C. And then angle. And then angle A, okay? And it works in reverse, too. For example, here's a good tricky problem, okay? So I'm going to draw something new. Huh? You guys like tricky problems, right? Yeah. I like jokes. So, you like jokes? Yeah. I love jokes. I'm a joke. So, so I'm going to draw this, hold on, I got to, I'm going to print, so let's, uh, let's look at this, all right? So this kind of problem, people uh, can have some difficulty with, this can be a little bit confusing, okay? So the first thing I would do if I saw this type of problem would be figure out what these other angles are, okay? Because that's going to help me. So what, if this is 80 and this is 40, what does this have to be? 60. So you figure out what that is, 60. Since this is 85 and this is 20, what does this have to be? 
interior angles. That's what goes there. If I try to click on this, it goes away. I don't want it to go away. So, oh, I know what I have to do. I have to take a picture of it. Got it? Got it? it is equal to the sum, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures, measures of the two remote, remote, that's an R here, remote interior, interior angles. Got it? So, <coughs> so for instance, you might see another problem that looks like, Oh, I didn't draw this one. But say, for instance, I have something that looks like, let me see if I can draw this. So I'll give you letters instead of numbers. So let's say that this is, let's say, for instance, 2x plus 10 out here. Okay? And this is x. And this is 3x. And they'll say, find the measure of this angle. How can I do that? Uh, do do X plus three equals two X plus ten. No. Well, yeah. So you say two X plus ten <coughs> is equal to what? Three X plus X. Three X plus plus X. Okay. So four X equals two X plus ten. So two X equals ten. So X equals five. So this angle is 5 and this angle is 15. And this angle would have to be 20. So that's really bad because it doesn't look like it's 20, does it? So this would probably have to, even though it doesn't make sense, this would have to be kind of a, with, I just made up numbers in my head, but it would really have to be a leaning over triangle, like something that looks kind of like, like this. And this would be the remote, right? We could have an acute angle, and then these two could be more looking like this, right? Just like we would grip. All right. So that's about it. Your homework is, which you will do. What is your homework? It's on my website. Page 216. Page 216. 1 through 11. And uh, you have a homecoming. I have thousands of papers to grade. Then why would you well, give this more is one for you. Give us more. <laughs> and uh, the 13 through 21. Oh my God. Let's keep this at the So, okay. The, and that's a lot? Yeah. Okay, stop.